What do we got, dude? Look at yeah. it! Of course, when I'm trying to hustle out so I can uh, move some sets around before dark, and there's an accident somewhere up here, and I'm not even on the freeway yet, and traffic is stopped. This sucks big hairy balls. So I made it through the traffic jam. I'm checking traps now until a little bit different weather than what we've been dealing with the last few weeks. It's almost 70 on my way out here. So it's really warm. And huh, just walking up on a trap right now. Looks like we got something. Fox, but anyways, let's get out here and check some of these traps. I'm moving to a different spot and uh, trying to get more area covered these last three weeks of the season. I know we might have a bobcat down here. Not bad. Second trap. I just checked that cave we caught the last cat in, and this is a cat over here. I see the spots on its back already. All right, let's go look at it. So I found a lot of old white turds on the saddle. Holy cow, that's a big cat. That's a really big cat. So I found a ton of turds up on the saddle. And so I put a trap on it. Man, that's a really big cat. It's pretending like I can't see it. It thinks it's hiding from me. Oh, there it goes. Man, it's gotta be a tom, that's big. It's a really big cat. I've had a big cat in a while now. So, good to see. Sweet. That's exciting. Not as, not as quiet as it was earlier. That's a big Tom. He wanted me on that one. More than a bluff charge. If you're on uh, trapperman.com, You've seen me talk about these Mike Kelly trap pans a lot. This is a small trap. That's a big cat paw. And you can see how much foot you can get in that trap. And I'm not a I'm not a huge lure person either. I think location is a hundred times more important for cats, especially with these walkthroughs. Just putting them where the cat wants to go so it doesn't have to go out of its way to work it. But uh, if you look in the link of this video at the bottom, there's a local company. It's called Chini Signature Lures. Um, they do custom skinning and then they use the glands from those to uh, make their lure. So they have lure that's just female gland, they have some that's just tom gland, and they have one that's a mix. And uh, in two weeks I've caught three cats. The last three cats I've caught have all been on that lure. And uh, this cat, man. This one, uh, I'm not big on saving for future years, but if I... I don't get offered a lot for this cat. I'm, I'm gonna risk holding on to it till uh, next year to sell because that's a perfect cat. And that's a big cat too. And that belly, <laughs> man, I'm in like disbelief with this cat right now. Probably the prettiest cat I've ever caught. Could be the biggest cat I've ever caught too. Beautiful cat. All right, I just finished putting this cat set in. Up there's where I caught this tom at but it's kind of tougher Brody to hike up there. And we want to check that cave, which is easier to check. And then we can come down here. Um, there's a scratch over here. Looks like it's from a cat and there's some old turds. So I decided to put this trap right here. I got a, this is that lure I was talking about. Um, Chini Signature Sense. I uh, checked the link in the bottom to be able to uh, see their website and this is a como this is the male stuff i've used up all the female stuff but i've caught uh one tom on this and i've caught two toms on the female stuff just in the last uh two weeks so great stuff and then i got right here this is what i just call cat mud it's uh the cat turds from the cats i clean out the intestines and then uh the urine from the cats too all fresh stuff none of the store-bought stuff i put them all in a jar and they get soft and it makes like a mud and so uh 
called cat mud. It's my first year using it. So running low on lure because it's the end of the season. But uh my back by either size comparison for you for that that tom so anyways uh pull the other two traps up top and we're gonna go get those set and then uh check the rest of the line so i barely beat the darkness so uh, just got back to the side by side i got those last two traps of the three i pulled set in a new spot i need to get a couple more traps in there heading down the road here i'm uh, gonna check the traps up here a few of them i'm pulling because i think they're up a little bit too high in elevation and then uh, I'll have some traps to fill in with on Saturday. So get checking. It's going to be a long night, that traffic jam. And then it put me way behind. I just freaking called in a mountain lion. I got up on this hill where I'm pulling a trap and I, I did a stand because I always see coyote tracks. I start walking back and I see this thing walking down the hill and I knew it was a cat for sure. And then I stood there and I saw it was a mountain line is probably only like 100 yards away and I shot and I missed and it stood there and it's still looking around and then I turned and I saw it and I shot and it was walking up the hill and I was shining my light around trying to find it up the hill and then I heard crashing down below me kind of down the canyon towards the side by side I don't know if I hit it or not but oh man I am stoked right now Killed it or not, dude, I called him a freaking mountain lion. I'm pumped. So I don't see any blood, but where I heard the crashing, I think it might have been falling down the mountain. So it's the only, there's a track I found. This is right where I shot it. So I've already done a big loop, but I'm going to look a little closer now. All right, I found another track. The only thing is I don't see blood, but I do only got a 223 with me because I've, I've had my 7mm08 with me ever since it snowed. And then today I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take my smaller gun in case I see a bobcat. And of course, calling him out mine. So this is the first track I've seen that's a ways from where I shot it. It's heading to where I heard a crashing sound. So I'm gonna look for blood. All right, I'm not seeing any blood in this snow. I finally got a track in the snow and I don't see, I don't see any blood anywhere. So I've been looking for about an hour now, so I'm taking it as I miss, from about 100 yards, with a gun that I know is dead on, because I've killed many things with it. So, dang it. Oh well. So I just got up to this set, right along those fences where I found that shed a while ago, and I got this little, uh, this little gray fox. So we haven't had a gray fox in about a week and a half. Probably our longest stretch without a gray fox. So I got uh, two more traps up here to check and then uh, load up the side by side and head over to the other area. Get those traps checked. It's late. That lion wastes about an hour and a half of my time and I'm, I'm not going to get home to like probably one now, but oh well, it's still fun. Hey, here's that Tom. I'm gonna take up my whole stretcher. He went 46 inches long, so he's my biggest cat. And I believe it is 11 inches wide at the base. It's the most spotted back cat I've ever caught around here. Look at that white goes clear to the back of it down there. So, you know, it's like 3.30 in the morning. I go wake up at 5.30, so. Get it hung up, get the fan on, and go to bed.